I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today is probably one of the most exciting days because this is my first walkthrough of a Tiffin product. So all new to National Indoor RV Centers, we now carry Tiffin full line um, at our Nashville location. We have Zephyr at our uh, Atlanta and Washington DC location. So if you're looking for a Tiffin, you can now give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and we are ready and willing to help you and your friends. So make sure you give us a call after you watch this video. I love to do the videos. I love to teach you as much as I can about the coaches, but then your job is that you have to give me a call after I'm all done. So today we're gonna to go through the lovely 40IH Phaeton floor plan. You're going to love this. Also look at the beautiful exterior. This is an all new exterior for 2024. This is the Midnight and it comes standard with the blacked out wheels. So that's kind of a cool option that they've added this year. You have, I believe, 10 other paint colors that you can choose from. Two different um, styling packages on your graphics that you can choose from. So again, just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We'll help you with um, all out with that. So Tiffin only uses the best paint. They use BASF, the same that you'll see on your Mercedes automobile. So you're going to have 11 coats of paint. You've got your base coat, and then you've got three coats of each color of four colors. So you have at least 11 coats of paint, plus then you get three coats of clear to give you this beautiful exterior. So this is where your vacation starts with this beautiful windshield here. We've got our big motion picture movie screen. That's how I love to see the country. That's what you get to do when you drive a Phaeton. I do love the way that Tiffin has installed their windshield. Very automotive um, installation, not a big rubber grommet. So it just looks nice and sleek. At the very top, we've got our marker lights, windshield wipers, LED headlights. Here we have the sensor for your um, road watch safety features, your um, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, more of those things that I'll get to talk about more when I'm actually driving the coach. The front of the coach is protected by diamond shield, so a little extra protection for your paint. Um, I would always recommend though, you know, wash that off once you get to your destination, just get rid of those pesky bugs. There's a few that will try, attempt to eat through that. Then we've got our chrome exterior mirrors. We've got our side view camera up in the mirror. We have our marker light, and then we have the Velic um, blind spot monitors. That's gonna alert you when you've got uh, cars about 10 feet back in your blind spot, so that's really nice. First marker light for the passenger side of the coach, and then we get to our front entry door. I love this, I love the Tiffin seal here. Tiffin has been making coaches for over 50 years. Um, family, uh, it's been involved in the business for 50 years, so just really cool. Then we've got our little pet window here for our furry friends. It's one of the reasons a lot of people have RVs is so that they can take their pets with them and this way they can kind of watch um, as you're traveling down the road. Now, one of the things that I love about Tiffin is you got several ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously, you can use your keys and your key fob, but you also have your panel here that sort of just disappears at the side of your coach. So you just swipe up, put in your code, and now I can turn on my lights, my porch lights, my door light. I can take my awning in and out. I can lock and unlock my storage base. I can unlock the front door here and I can turn on all the lights inside the coach. So I really, really love this panel. So easy and of course it's waterproof because it's outside. So here we have our um, spider wire monitor here so we can turn on our porch light which is sort of at the middle of the coach our door light which is going to be on the awning the road light which will be totally in the center of the coach on the passenger and driver's side then we have our master light so we can turn on all the lights inside the coach from outside so if you've locked everything up and then you forgot to turn off the lights you can just do that right there we can do bring out our um, door awning so extend that. We can lock and unlock the entry door. 
and our bay doors. That's really nice. Probably one of my favorite features is to have that cargo lock because it never fails. I get out here, I've hit the fob, I've locked the doors. Um, so I, you always have to go right inside. Now it's right here at the door. So I do love that. Then you can lock the screen. Also from here, I can see my tank levels of my fresh gray and black tank and then my house and my chassis batteries. I can see that right there as well. And then this is where you can set your um, screen lockout uh, and how long you want that to remain up and your theme and your cleaning mode. One of the first things you're gonna notice are the blacked out wheels here on this Phaeton. So they come standard with the midnight paint color. If you want to put those with one of the other paint colors, or if you want to switch that out to aluminum, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and we'll let you know what is possible. Now the Phaeton sits on the Michelin 295 tires. Uh, Love that they have Michelin, all about safety. So is National Indoor RV Centers. So you've got to go check out my video on a Retroband. Retroband is your um, run flat device for your RV. Uh, tested on RVs, made specifically for RVs. Um, once you see that video, you're going to want to give us a call for Retroband because it's going to give you great peace of mind and safety while you're traveling with your family down the road. The front axle weight on the fit on the 40 IH is 15.6 and then the rear axle weight is 24,000 pounds. Here's our fuel fill. You've got dual fuel fill, so both sides of the coach, so you can fill this up faster than you can your car if you wanna do it from both sides. 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. And then if you look up, you'll see the beautiful tinted dual pane windows all the way around. Standard on the Phaeton are the Girard awnings. So we have the beautiful awnings that I'll extend for you here. And then we've got the Girard toppers and then the Girard window cover um, covers as well. So to take out your Girard awnings, you're just gonna take, get your little panel out here. You're going to move your channel to zero and then you will extend them out and they're gonna come out together. Also from this panel, you can control the lights and you can lock them in and out as well. Uh, you do have a wind sensor on your Gerard awning, so in case a big gust of wind comes along, it should bring those awnings in. Now, one thing's with awning care, I never leave my coach with my awnings out. I'm always amazed when I drive through a campground and I see um, coaches with their awnings out and no car there. I mean, maybe someone's inside, but you just never know, depending on where you are in the country, big gust of wind, I've seen um, some bad things happen to awnings. So, Enjoy them while you're outside. Once you're inside, I'd bring them in. You can see how far they extend and then they've got that Nova pitch to give you that extra shade. Also now I can turn on my exterior lights. So I'm setting the stage for a great tailgate party or just enjoying the outdoors. Speaking of tailgating, we've got our exterior TV, 42 inch LG TV with the sound bar. So that's gonna be great for the party. We've got the awnings out. And now let's check out our storage. So behind our first door, we've got our hydraulic pump. Now this is going to control all your slide rooms and your jacks. So that was new for 2023 that you've got the hydraulic slides all the way around. So I know that our you Tiffin lovers are going to love that. Then next to that, we've got a storage compartment here. Now this is where you could add yourself a cooler if you wanted. You've got your 12 volt receptacle two 110 outlets, and then these are the controllers for your Gerard awnings. Now, this next compartment is huge. I love it. So this is the Phaeton XSH. So that is the extra, extra storage height. So we've got the raised rail chassis. The IH always had the XSH, but now it's across the board on all Phaetons, you've got that extra storage. So I brought my little measuring tape, of course. You have 20, just about 28 inches here to, to get into the storage compartment. So from ceiling to ground, you've got about 38 inches. Now, if we go to the slide tray, that's gonna take a couple of those inches away. So from ceiling to the tray, you've got 33 inches. Now from, this, from the chassis rail to the bottom of the tray is 22 inches. So your pass-through height is 22 inches. I do love the Morai tray here. It's easy, just pull that lever up and then you extend it all the way out. 
So easy to get to your items that are in here. And then it's a pass through. So it's going to extend just as far the other direction. You've got your extra tiles here. One of the things that I love that Tiffin has when you have the all electric package with the induction cooktop, you actually get your little pots and pans. And then you've got your hoses for your central vac. You may be wondering what this is. This is for your window awning. So you're just going to take that loop it through and Tiffin's made it really easy to loop it through. That's so nice. Bring it down here. Just loop that right through. And it's nice and secure. Three point secure there. So no problem leaving that out when you leave your coach. All right. And then you just push that right back in and it locks into place. So one thing that's really cool about Tiffin is they make all of their own cargo doors and they're super strong, super strong hinges. Now, I don't recommend this unless you have a Tiffin, but literally I could swing on that door and then shut it right into place. And I kind of slammed it, but you don't even have to slam them. They open and shut really easily. Another thing I love about the Tiffin cargo doors. Now this is a huge, huge pass through. So I'm gonna get out my tape measure here again. So look at how much space is in here, literally. Wow. So you have just about 24 inches of pass through from the chassis rail to the bottom of the storage compartment. So I think this is the biggest uh, compartment I've ever been in. Now, if you shoot from the ceiling to the bottom of the storage compartment is 31 and three quarters inches. So again, this is just huge. Now inside here I have two 110 outlets and my central vac. So I can go ahead and I can plug that in here if I want to vacuum out the basement or if I want to pull my car up alongside the coach, I can vacuum up my car, which is really nice. And note these are all lit, so I can just light them from the door or I can turn them on and off inside or just have them on auto. So another really cool option that you can get on the IH floor plan is the outdoor kitchen. So literally pulls out from here and then you can do all your grilling and everything right here from underneath your awnings. All right, we're gonna test this door too. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you how much I weigh, but I'm telling you it supports quite a bit of weight and then easily shuts. All right, next compartment here. So behind this panel is your fresh water tank. We have a 100 gallon fresh water tank this is where you can um, unlock this right here if you want to do, um, if you need to fill it, potable fill here. So if you're dry camping, you can't hook up to city water, you can fill it here. You can also disinf disinfect your tank from here. Just above that, I know everyone always asks what this compartment is. It's one of my first questions as well. So this is a compartment where you can get to service your refrigerator. That's a big deal. Those refrigerators are huge. How many times have you seen a little bit of water leaking out from your refrigerator from your water line to your ice maker? And then you've got to pull the whole refrigerator out. This is really nice. You don't have to do it. You can get right back here and fix the problem. So another huge compartment here, just so you can see how far that goes back. That is five feet. So nice and big compartment there. And then we have our SureGuard um, automatic transfer switch. So this is going to protect your 50 amp shore power cord. I also recommend that you put in another surge protector. Um, that's good for one time. It's just like extra insurance for your coach. Um, we can install one internally for you at National Indoor RV Centers, or you can add one to the end of your 50 amp shore power cord. Second marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And now we're to our chassis batteries right inside here. And we have our chassis battery disconnect. Now, if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at all of our locations, um, indoors, plugged into 50 amp service. Uh, when you store your coach, you wanna make sure that you turn off those that battery disconnect so that you don't have any parasitic draw. Never fun to come back to a dead coach especially when you're starting a vacation. Then we've got a nice little storage compartment here. Our last 
storage compartment for the passenger side we have our power management center for the rear half of the coach you're going to have your fuses for your lights and everything um, here in this box another storage compartment here and then our engine block heater this is where we would plug that in right in here so if you need this then you're probably too far north and it's time to head south here at the rear of the coach first of all notice the beautiful back graphics that we have on the phaeton we've got our marker lights at the top our rear view camera our vent for our dryer and then we have our exhaust just around the side the passenger side of the coach so standard for 2024 on the phaeton you now have the 450 horsepower diesel powered engine with 1250 torque uh, 10,000 pound uh, tow hitch and our seven way here and we've got the great little Phaeton mud guard there at the back. Now, I know you wanna see inside here. So it's really easy to get inside your compartment here for serviceability. We've got our rear radiator. Um, we've got the little Deutsch plug for the technicians at National Indoor RV centers to plug into and communicate with your coach. We have our air filter minder here. When this gets up to the red line here, it's time to change that filter. Here is the air intake for the engine. So it comes through the vented area there on the side of the coach, our coolant. And you can actually see how full that is. So that's really nice. Make sure you never change that when it's hot. And you'll make sure you check that and change that when it's cool. Our power steering fluid, transmission, uh, dipstick and fill, our engine oil fill, our engine oil dipstick. And then right down here, you'll see that there's two tubes that water's dripping out of. That's for the condensation from the AC. So it's not gonna run down the side of your coach. It comes down through this compartment and then onto the ground, which is nice. So coming around the driver's side of the coach, we've got our first compartment here, nice little storage compartment. I do love that Tiffin's given us space, even though it's not a deep storage compartment, I know I can still find something to go in there. Um, first of all, if you wanna travel with your deaf, that's a great place to put it. Then our next compartment has our 50 amp shore power cord. And you just press the button here to pull that in, which if you haven't, if you don't have a power shore power cord, it's a game changer. You're gonna love it. So just one of those features that I love. Then we have our 10 gallon DEF. So that's our, our diesel exhaust fluid. That has about a one year shelf life. It doesn't like sun. Um, so you wanna make sure that you just are aware of when you put that in. Um, also, you can fill up, you'll fill this up about one time to every three times that you fill up your 100 gallon um, fuel tank. So with the 450, um, that's pretty average. If you go up to the 605, you're gonna be filling it a little bit more often than that. Marker lights for the driver's side of the coach. And then we've got our diesel 450 Aqua Hot. This is great. This is your on-demand hot water, your on-demand uh, heat furnace for the coach once it drops below like 34 degrees inside. So you've got the um, coolant for your Aqua Hot here, the fuel um, oil filter for your Aqua Hot, and our display panel for the Aqua Hot. Right before I open that door, that is your exhaust for your Aqua Hot, so just always be aware of that. Then we have our wet bay compartment here. So everything is nicely labeled. Up at the top, we've got our tri um, our cable tripods for our inputs for our cable. Two 110 outlets. Solar input. So if you've got a portable solar device that you wanna plug in, you would do that here. Now, just above that, we've got our hot water line and our cold uh, water here, valves. Our water pump our sea level two tank monitor so we can check our batteries, our fresh tank, gray tank, and black tank. And on this coach, you've got a 100 gallon fresh tank, a 100 gallon gray tank, which is awesome, and a 55 gallon black tank. Then we've got our city water fill and our tank fill, external shower, hot and cold. Then our filter for the coach, little spot for our um, soap and then just below that we've got our uh, plug-in for our stinky slinky here and you can actually move that so that it's easier to hook up and then you can thread that right through when you're done you can seal up the compartment wash it all out 
and then we've got our power cord for our water hose it's right here and they've even given us a little space for our paper towels our gray tank t-bar and our black tank t-bar and then our tank flush is right here so here is the huge compartment from the driver's side of the coach the pass-through with no tray again just a ton of space there so no need to worry you can take it all <laughs> And then we've got the pass-through. So again, just pull the lever up. You can pull that all the way out. So nice and easy to get to everything. Right inside here, we've got the solar controller for your solar panels. So you'll only have that if you option into the solar panels. We've got our 2000 watt uh, Magnum Pure Sign Inverter. And I love where this is stored. Um, you wanna make sure that your inverter can always breathe, that you don't pack too much around it. So when they put it up in the ceiling like that, kind of hard for me to do. I mean, I could probably find a way to do it, but that just keeps it so it has some um, air. And then we've got our cutoff for our inverter. Again, this is another cutoff that you wanna make sure you turn off if you're not storing with national indoor rv centers again you don't want that parasitic draw and then we've got our house battery cutoff switch here and then we've got our um, resettable breakers here and it lets you know what those are for right here so all very nicely labeled easy to use so behind this panel are our lovely six um, agm batteries that's an optional feature you can also option in lithium for 2024 as well. And we've got them on the pull-out tray, so it makes them really easy for serviceability. Also notice that you've got the nice uh, window on in here. Again, they give you that great hook. I know it's a little thing, but it's just that attention to detail that makes it easy for the owner. I love that. Right above that, we've got the exhaust and the vent for the exhaust for your kitchen and for your microwave. We have the fuel fill here for the driver's side of our 100 gallon fuel tank. Also, just check out that uh, driver's side window. It looks really nice and sleek and I'll operate it for you when I get inside. Then we've got the PLC, your programmable controller. And then we've got the air hose. So you can actually fill up your tires with this if you need to. You know, you have a huge compressor with that diesel engine. Um, if you want to see how you can do that, check out my RV in 101 video, a series where I take a trip from start to finish, prepping, packing for a trip. I get to the campground. You can see how I hook up everything at the wet bay compartment, um, cook a little dinner while we're driving. It's kind of a fun four part series if you want to check that out. Here is the airline quick connect. Right over here, we've got the T-bar to release the generator, the front, uh, the generator. Also, you've got your exhaust right here for your generator. So be aware if that's warm, when I, you release that, that's gonna move. You just don't wanna burn yourself. So the generator is on the slide, which is really nice. It just comes right out. You can easily get to your 10,000 watt Onan generator. Here we have ability to service that. You've got your oil fill and your dipstick here. Then you've got the fill for your coolant, your breaker reset. So if you pop the breaker, this is where you reset up for your generator. And then you've got your generator hours and you can also start and stop your generator from right here in front. So I'm so excited to show you the inside, but a few more things to point out before we go in. Just a little attention to detail is what I like to say. We've got the chrome on the steps, just makes them look that much nicer. Beautiful handle here that's lit as well. And then when you go in the front door, first of all, I love that they've got a nice um, sturdy screen here because our pets are gonna sit there and watch as we go down the road, but they're not gonna fall through the screen door. So I really like that extra reinforcement there. Look at that beautiful step well. First of all, I love the solid surface. I love the little extra detail with the um, insert here. Then we've got our storage compartment. And again, we've got that chrome on the front, but that's a really nice place where you can put uh, leashes for the pets, maybe a little bit of food, maybe your umbrella, just things that you need to get to easily. All right, so now to my favorite part, let's go check it out. So right when I walk into the coach, the first thing I notice are these awesome grab bars. 
I love, they're just like the one outside. I've never seen it inside the coach before and I think it looks really pretty. They're lit, so you're gonna easily be able to see those and then nice and sturdy, so I love that. Then we've got our panel right here when we walk into the coach. So here's our panel here right at the front. I love this. You can con control pretty much everything here at this panel that you can from your midship panel. Um, but I'll go into it more detail there since it's bigger. So just a brief um, overview here. It gives you your exterior heat, the time, um, your master light switch. That's probably my favorite switch that you have right here at the door. Then you can go to your lighting and you can go your main switches, your exterior lights and your rear lights, your um, power control screen here, so your chassis batteries, your house batteries, your auto gen start, your AC, rear, mid, and front, aqua hot, your diesel on and off here, your electric on and off here, and then your engine preheat. So you've got your tank levels here for your fresh gray and black and your fans. And then you can go to your settings page and this is where you can customize those, those items here. Your battery, house batteries on and off right here. And then your step on and off. So once you're at the campground, you want to leave that step extended. You don't want it coming out every time you open and shut your door. Just below that, we've got our fire extinguisher. Very nice, easy to get to from inside or outside the coach, but it's just one. So do you really think that's enough? I don't. So what you need to do is protect your coach with Protang, um, a product sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers. We can customize the quote to your coach. If you would just wanna do certain compartments, if you just want the engine compartment done, we can do that. But give us a call, we'll give you a custom quote today. And I also have a video on that if you want more information on the product. As I step into the coach, love this interior. So nice, soft and light, beautiful woodwork. Um, all the woodwork is done um, in Red Bay, Alabama, custom made for this coach. Once your coach is scheduled, they start building the cabinets. So that's really neat. This is the sandstone cabinetry. All has a nice matte finish. Just looks really nice. And it's all backed by steel. So I could literally hang on this door and do a pull up. Um, and that wouldn't be pretty, but <laughs> it's so strong. I love it. Uh, inside here, they've given us little extra paint samples. That's really nice. If you just have a little boo-boo um, that you need to fix for on your coach, you've got your paint colors there. If it happens to be a little bit bigger than just a little one, <laughs> um, luckily National Indoor RV Centers has paint booths at all of its locations. So you can come to us. We warranty our um, paint and body work for life. So no need to worry there. We'll take care of you and get you back on the road looking better than ever. More storage here. You have your spider controller. That's for um, your control panel for all your spider um, panels throughout the coach. And then we've got our two, or just one, one tin outlet. Now it tells you right here at the top that that outlet will power off when the ignition is on. So if you're in the outlet below, you're good. I've got the TV plugged into that right now. So I can easily turn my TV on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my ignition on. Now, if I plug into the top plug up here, turn my TV on, it won't, it won't work. So if you're like me and you want to text, watch a movie while you're driving, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you want to have the screen on for like your GPS or whatever, when you're going down the road or a map of the United States, you've got to make sure that it's in that bottom outlet. Then we have our 42 inch LG TV, overhead TV, nice and big. Everyone says, why do I need two TVs? Well, it's kind of nice if you're cooking, you can be watching a show here, put your, put your um, AirPods in and you can watch separate shows in the same room if you want. 
Um, two more t uh, 110 outlets here, and then we've got a little uh, port there for cords. Now, optional feature for 2024 is Starlink on your Phaeton. So it is pre-wired. Um, this one isn't uh, optioned with that in, but you can get it. So that's really a cool feature that customers have been wanting. Tiffin listened to them and provided that for them. And here we have more storage. And then below that, we've got our WineGuard satellite system for your in-motion satellite, your King, which is your um, booster and extender for, extender for your Wi-Fi. And then we have our Gerard awning controls. So you can see it better in here. There's a zero there. If I wanna bring out both awnings at one time, I put it on zero, or you can bring out your first awning or your second awning. And then you just in, out, stop lock unlock and then the lights for your awnings and then this also is a magnet so you can just take that out if you want to control them from outside you can do it there when you're done just put it right back in its spot welcome to the beautiful interior of the 40 ih now i'm going to be honest this does not feel like a 40 foot coach to me it's actually 41 feet four inches i think in length but it just feels really big it feels like a 45 footer to me inside the living room living room so i love the interiors again I, the sandstone wood cabinets you have three other cabinets that you can choose from um, that are all lovely choices and then we've got the beautiful tide pool interior package beautiful porcelain tile floor i just love it it's nice and clean um, you'll notice the new ceiling treatment for 2024 the sconces, the valances, everything's very um, nicely appointed. That's what I can say. And once you have the blinds up, it's just beautiful. You can have really nice big windows to see the outdoors. Now, one of the things that I like that Tiffin does is they've got the slide controls for your slide rooms right here at the front of the coach because they wanna make sure that if you've turned the chairs around like we have here today, that you're gonna clear those chairs. So turn those around. You've got your extend and retract for the passenger side and extend and retract for the driver's side right here at the front to make sure there's total clearance from the front chairs. And remember with Tiffin, you always need to have your ignition on, park brake set to bring those slide rooms in and out. Now, if you happen to call the customer service center because your slide rooms, rooms won't come in, you may need to replace the batteries in those little control panels there. So you just pull them off, you can replace the battery, no big deal. So come into the living room, one of the things I love when you turn around the captain, co-captain's chairs, you now have two additional recliners. So you can just simply sit back and relax and visit with your guests. You've got seating for easily eight people here. So in your theater seats, your captain's seats, sofa, and then your booth really nice comfortable seating and you've got seat belts for eight as well so captain's chairs one two theater seating one two sofa two and then two in your forward facing booth so we've optioned in the theater seats here these are so comfortable if you've not sitting in tiffin's theater seating then you need to come visit national indoor rv centers to do so because it's totally worth it so they extend go back what I really like is there's also one for your head so for the shorter people taller you can make that just right and literally I could sleep here it's so comfy two cup holders and then a storage compartment then we've got the pretty sconces we have the push button reading lights and you can direct those lights above each chair we have the two 110 outlets above and two 110 outlets below and then another available 110 outlet behind the theater seating and some room for like blankets or whatever you'd like to store back there. And manual shades for your blackout and then your day shade as well. And I always like to put the shade down as well as the blackout just gives you that little bit of extra insulation. Okay, so this is one of the biggest selling points for Tiffin's. I've heard it for years and years and years, and you know, I didn't have Tiffin to sell, so what could I do? But now I can sell the Tiffin. So check out the storage. Check out the depth and the height of that cabinet. 
I know if you've watched my videos before, you know I always have my handy tape measure, and I don't think I've ever measured an internal cabinet, but this one is worthy. So, we are going to go, so it is 21 inches deep, and then the height of this cabinet is, oh, well, it's just about 17 inches high. So that's huge. That can store a lot of good stuff in there, right? <laughs> I know that I will find things. Air fryers to your taller items. I mean, that's just a lot of space in the living room. Now we've got our Tiffin Bible here. This has all your manuals in it. Um, and then you may be wondering what this little like case is for. This actually goes up into the front window here to just block out any, kind of give you that full privacy with your shades down. So across from our theater seating, we have our nice sofa here and we've got our TV lift. I'll show you how that works just a second. Also have this, which I love. We've got the two 110 outlets and the two USB ports and you can just hide those away if you're not using them. And then our huge window sound bar and just right across the way, I can bring up the TV. So now I've got my 55 inch LG TV up, huge. It's like my little theater center here. And then we've got sleeping in this sofa as well. So you just take the cushions off. And what's nice is they've given us a Velcro strip here so that it really stays in place once you are using it as a sofa. So we've got the air coil mattress. So you've got little springs in there. Then you fill it up with air, the nice mattress cover so you can leave your sheets on it and fold it back up. And your pump is in the corner there. Just plug it into the outlet, pump up, pump, fill it with air and then you can also take the air out. So it's super easy and very, very comfortable. We've optioned in the new U-shaped dinette. This is really nice, big booth, very comfy, lots of room here. This is without the sleeper. You can also do the U-shaped booth with the sleeper. And then there's the table and chair dinette, which will give you more storage space, office space here. So just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We can walk you through that ordering process but this is really nice and handy. Then we've got our control panel here at the booth. So again, our home panel is going to let us adjust the ceiling lights. Anytime you see those arrows up and down, that means that you can dim the lights and you can turn the sconces on and off. So it's just really easy. Our fan controls for the fan in the kitchen here and the exhaust. And then we have our TV lift, so I can do the TV from right here. So if I want to bring that up, or if I want to take it down. So then we go to our settings page, our screen brightness. We can adjust that here if we want that to be a little bit lower. We're in the dinette location, and then my uh, screen will stay on for one minute, or I can increase that time or decrease it, and then go into cleaning mode. Then I've got the two 110 outlets here, and just below that, I've got the two USB outlets. Then below the booth, I've got nice storage. Nice deep drawers, actually. And they're fairly tall, too. And I've got that on both sides. And then storage above. Again, these are pretty tall for the dinette storage cabinets and quite deep. So now heading into the kitchen, love all the storage that I have. First of all, we have our overhead storage with the pull out drawers. That's always nice so you can actually use that whole space and get to the very back. And then we have nice storage here with the pull out drawers and the extra shelf. So again, kind of maximizes um, how much you can put in there. A little flip down from the sink so you can store your brushes and sponges. And then nice big compartment here. Plenty of room for a trash can. We also have room where we can put our sink covers in when we're not using them. So I love that. Then we have the dishwasher here. 
so i really like this fisher pico dishwasher they've set they've they've set it up high which is really nice so you don't have to lean way over to load the dishes um it's nice and big now there's some people that may not want the dishwasher well this is your cooler you can make this a cooler so it has a drain in it you can fill this with ice and fill it with drinks and have a tailgate party and have extra drinks in here if you want or just use it for storage because it's a huge spot for storage as well and then there's a nice big drawer below it and then we have the three drawers here place for your silverware and these are all soft closed drawers all our remotes and then we get to the countertop lots of counter space here we've got a little t-bar here to pull we can extend our solid surface counter space here and it kind of divides the living room from the kitchen as well but all this prep area which is great then we've got the outlets here in the countertop that just disappear if you're not using them so two 110 two usb and then tiffin has really they've gone over the top with outlets i love it you've got two here two center and two at the far end so six 110 outlets just underneath the cabinet top so that's great then we have our induction cooktop and i love that that just tucks right away so induction cooktop we've got the special pans that tiffin um, provides when you get the all electric package and the induction cooktop so you just have to make sure any any pan that a magnet will attach to will, will work on this induction cooktop and then we have our residential faucets love that our sink covers for our double bowl stainless steel sink nice and big very residential looking with the soap dispenser here and I always like the sink covers. I need those in my house so that I can hide the dirty dishes. I do love that, <laughs> that option. And you know, you can put all the dirty dishes in the big sink and then you still got this to work with while you're getting everything ready, which is great. Now, just behind that, notice the beautiful kitchen window. Love the way they finish it off and the backsplash. Just that beautiful attention to detail. Love the interior, love the artwork. Like they've just done a nice job finishing off this coach. So another little spider control panel here. You've got them throughout the coach so you can easily get to a panel to do all the functions that you need. And then you go midship for the big functions. Then we've got our convection microwave oven. Not only is this a convection microwave oven, it also will bake, roast, and new for 2024, air fry. So you've got it all right here. So that just eliminates the air fryer that you may want to bring along with you. It's just going to give, contribute to giving you more space in your cabinets because you can do so much right here in your convection, microwave oven, air fryer, roaster, you name it, it does it all. And believe it or not, we're not done with storage. Still more. So we've got the nice pantry here which the, with the push to open shelves that pull all the way out. So again, you can use that whole space because you can reach the very back so do love that they lock into place so that you're not going to have to worry about them coming open during um, while you're driving that's also important for your refrigerator and freezer you've got the lock right here i have a pre-trip checklist um, if you want to know what I do to get ready for a trip, get everything set and ready to go, um, you want to make sure that that is on your checklist so that you don't have the contents of your refrigerator spilling out into your coach during travel. That really can ruin a day. So I do love that we have the water and the ice in the door. And then we can unlock that. Nice big refrigerator. You can get a full pizza box in there, which is great. And we've got the extra little compartment here for like the deli meats and cheeses, which is really handy. And then the freezer below. I love the pull-out trays. Very easy to get to. And basically that is as big as my refrigerator at home, for refrigerator freezer at home. So anything you wanna take with you, you can take on the road. Right before I go into the midship bath, we've got the dust pan, so you can sweep all the contents over to here and then just suck them all away then we have the central vac that you plug in here so you can vacuum the front and rear of your coach then we have our um, 
CO and propane alarm here. And just above that, we've got our control panel. I'll go over that right after we see the midship bath. Love this, nice and roomy for a midship bath. It's your half bath. Come in here, we've got a little bidet. Just kidding. <laughs> Although, why not, you know? Um, but that will, you can just add extra water, um, rinse out your bowl if you need to. And then we've got the solid surface countertop here. We've got storage, two 110 outlets, more storage there for our good reading material. Lots of storage underneath the sink. Residential faucets, beautiful backsplash again here in the bathroom. And then more storage with adjustable shelves. I like to say my bathroom up there, his bathroom right here. <laughs> then we've got the window. Always like having a window in the half bath, just makes it feel bigger, like you're not in a small space. And then we have another control panel for your overhead fans, your water pump. Um, you can see your tank levels. So you can control all that from the half bath. And I also love that they've given us towel holders here. So there's never enough um, towel holders. So they've given us three really nice so now to go over the spider spider control panel um, now this pretty much controls everything on the coach you can also download the app to your phone it's really easy just go up into the far right hand corner you'll see the setting button and then you're going to go to mobile app you scan that download the mira um, app first scan this enter the pin super easy and then you have many of the controls that you have from the panel here on your phone. So for lighting, your tank level, water pump, aqua hot diesel, um, aqua hot electric, gives you your house and your chassis battery um, life, what it's at. So there's just things that you can do straight from your phone. So that's kind of handy. So let's go over this main panel. This is our home page, um, very user friendly. So just across the top here home it's going to give you the exterior temperature time um, the temperature of your base so that's super important you've got that and know that from inside the house then we have the our levels of our house batteries and our chassis batteries it's also letting us know that we are connected to shore power it's going through the inverter to the coach and that we are pulling 24.5 amps from the solar panels um, that are optional feature on this phaeton so then below here, we can immediately look at the panel and I know that I've got floor heat. So that's another really cool option that you can add to your Phaeton. So floor heat, I can go here, I can turn it on and then set that um, floor heat super easy from the front, from the main page. I can also do my ACs here as well. And then I'll go into the individual um, page for the HVAC. So the rear, mid, front, and then our floor. Fresh tank is 10% full. Again, this is 100 gallon. Gray tank is 100 gallon, and black tank is 55. And then we've got our generator. So we can go here to our gen. This is where we can set, it's gonna tell us our generator hours. We can go to easy setup, and it's basically gonna walk you through how to do your auto gen start, which is really um, nice. So it's gonna ask you the questions when um, when do you want the generated at what level of the batteries do you want them to be at before the generator will start and then stop the generator when the battery reaches what percent so you can set all those levels and then how long do you want it to run so that's the easy setup or you can go back to manual setup where it's all sort of on one page and you can decide uh, at what voltage you want it to kick on, um, how long you want it to run, your runtime, and all that good stuff. Very easy to do. Then we've got our Aqua Hot. We can turn that on from here. We have our diesel power and our electric and our water pump and then our ceiling lights. So we've got our master light button right here. We can turn all the lights on and off from that. Um, living room ceiling lights, bedroom, bathroom, and then the backlight to this panel itself. So then let's go into our lights. This gives us a little bit more detail. Now one of the really cool things is I can 
go into my ceiling lights here, but if I want to dim those lights, I'm gonna just hold it until this panel comes up and I can adjust the lighting here. Now, once I've done it here and I hit done, when I turn my master light switch on and off, it's gonna go back to that same level. It won't go back to the full light. So hold it again. I can adjust that back up to full, done. So it's really easy to dim your lights and set that um, for each area of the coach. So we have our main lights here, bedroom lights, exterior lights, so our porch light, road light, and door light, and our bathroom lights. Uh, the mid ceiling, rear ceiling, rear vanity, and the master light. Now we've got our power control panel here. So it's letting you know what um, amps you're bringing in from the solar, the house battery, chassis battery lev levels, uh, your inverter, whether it's on or not, what charge state your batteries are in. So they're in a float charge. Um, we're plugged in right now. Then we have the energy management system that's an managing everything that's happening in your coach. Um, so what's happening behind the scenes, if you've got your temperatures all set um, to come on if it gets you know above 70 degrees, it's not going to allow all of those to come on at once um, where you could actually flip the breaker. So it's going to stage it and it will come on in the warmest part of the coach first. So that's very nice. Then we have our generator here. We can start and stop it here. Um, let us know the generator hours as well. Transfer switch just shows you where your power is coming from, 50 amp shore power. And then we can go to our HVAC panel here. You can see that we've got our floor heat. So you can go there, turn it on and off, and then put the uh, levels for the front floor heat and the rear floor heat. Then we can go to our rear, mid, or front for our AC. We can set the temperature here, so it's really easy with the dial right there. And then if we want to sync all those together, whichever one we've got selected, if we hit sync zones, it will sync them all to that same temperature. Then below you can see we've got our AC, our heat pump, furnace, turn everything off, the fan, high, low, and auto. And then we have our electric, diesel, our preheat for our um, engine block heater, so we can turn that on here as long as it's plugged in outside. And then we've got our electric and our diesel heat. So if you're just um, washing your hands or doing a few dishes, you can have it on electric heat. If you want to have a nice warm shower, you're gonna wanna have it on diesel. And then we have our aqua hot settings here. So here are the slide controls for the rear part of the coach. The front slide rooms are controlled right behind the captain and co-captain seats. Now, it's letting me know from this panel that my ignition is on, my park brake is set, so the slides are ready to go in and out. And then I can easily extend and retract the rear slides from right here. Then we go to the next page. We've got the controls for our galley fan, mid bath, and rear bath. And then we can lock the entry right from here. We can unlock the entry and also our bay doors. This is really nice at night. If you hear something, you can just go over and double check your locks. Um, we, have, we can also do the TV lift in the living room here. And then we've got our ceiling fan in the bedroom, which is really nice that you'll get to see in just a moment. Then we can go to our settings page here. So this is where you can set Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's gonna let you know that you're in the 40 uh, IH Phaeton, which this is customized to this floor plan. Our screen brightness here, time, um, screen settings, we can go there and you can have it be this, adjust the timeout of the screen so you can make it stay longer, on longer if you want, or go to cleaning mode. Uh, exterior keypad so this is where you can customize the um, pen code to get into your coach and then we have our wireless switches so this is basically all the spots where I have the smaller panels and then we've got the mobile app system update this is where you would check for updates diagnostics 
and it's just it's all right there in that panel for you very easy to use i think you're gonna love it welcome to the master bedroom of the 40 ih so i absolutely love this bedroom i love the storage we have the cabinets above here which don't have a divider in them so you've got that extra space love that then we have our 42 inch lg tv then behind here we've got kind of our av cabinet so this is our wally so we can direct the input to our to the which tv we want it to go to and then we've got our blu-ray dvd player we also have our hdmi input and our cable inputs two additional 110 outlets and then you'll see that this cabinet is vented because it will get a little bit warm in there and there's a fan in here again to keep that cool and then this is probably my favorite drawer in the whole coach a hamper i love having a hamper because it takes up a ton of space in the closet if you put it in there it looks yucky if it's a you know just out and about in your coach or it doesn't look yucky it just doesn't look as tidy as i'd like it so i really love when they give you a hamper and then we have the nice drawers we have the nice drawers which are soft clothes so there's really a lot of space for all of your clothing two wenton outlets and then a nice big window which i love having in the bedroom we have the huge king size bed with the memory foam mattress which is very comfortable and then we have storage underneath the bed so great nice deep big storage there then we have our nightstands on either side of the bed with a little cubby and you can even keep books magazines or just gives you a little extra space here to make the bed which is nice usb outlet on both um, nightstands and then we have the solid surface two 110 outlets and then we have our control panel again you've got that on both sides of the bed really nice because you can lock the coach from here um, control the lighting your fans your generator turn it on and off from here your door lights your sconce lights then you can go to the main lighting page so main lights exterior lights rear lights i love this because if you're laying in bed you hear the sound outside you can go to your exterior lights and just turn all those well they were all on so you can turn them all back on now um, just a nice little safety feature then you've got your battery levels here turn your generator on and off here kind of gives you the status of your charge then your HVAC controls you can control all of that from here as well go to your settings and right here you can lock and unlock your front door and your baggage compartments tank levels fans and your ceiling fan here in the bedroom you're really gonna love that turn that on and you're gonna have uh, some nice airflow in no time at all in our padded headboard then we have our lights which you can direct where you want that light to go plus your reading lights push on and off and again direct those storage overhead so you have each side there is a division between them and you have two 110 outlets so if you want um, to plug anything in up there you've got that ready to go more storage on the other side of the bed and again two more 110 outlets and you've got the same lighting and another control panel two 110 outlets and usb storage it's awesome one of the things that i love about this floor plan is that you'll see there is no step up you have a fully level floor all the way to the front entry step so no step up you're not going to stub your toe um, and then this bathroom feels huge i love the double sinks i call that the marriage saver or hers and hers <laughs> um, nice storage look at how big that storage is underneath each sink and then full extension drawers love my drawers and I just love the solid surface countertop with the sinks, residential faucets, four 110 outlets. We've got the little towel holder here, another control panel here for our bathroom lights, vanity lights, 
the overhead fan, the water pump, and then just the fan itself here. Tank levels, water pump, and then to um, the settings for the screens. Note the beautiful backsplash again, just makes it look very residential, high end. And then I love the mirror setup here because not only are, do you have great mirrors, but now you can check out the back of your hair. You just look through those mirrors, it's really nice. And then check out all the space in your medicine cabinet. So much storage and that's just the best use of space and everything's right there at your fingertips. Love it. Also notice the beautiful lot hand lighting. They've just done a really nice job. Then we have our washer and dryer, Splendid. So one of the cool things about this at Tiffin is that they actually test the washer and dryer before it ever goes into the coach, which is like a no brainer for me. If it's going to fail, it's gonna fail before it ever even gets in here. Much easier to test it before they put it in and install it and then have to take it in and out of the coach. So I do love that. Also, little hint, if you come into your coach and you smell an awful smell, you think maybe something's going on with your black tank, most often the water has run out of the P-trap for your washing machine. So just fill it with a gallon of water, put it on the rinse cycle, and that smell is gonna go right away. So I love that. This is on the sliding door. Check out your space here. I do love that. You've got your motion sensor here, so the light comes on when you open your closet. We've got the safe, lots of space here, hanging space. And then more space here. So we have the extra hanging bar here. We've got two 110 outlets, and then we have our AC override. So if that will override whatever you have setting, if I turned it on, this would turn on the ACs right now. They will continue to run forever and ever until I turn that off. <laughs> so make sure you turn that off if you ever use that button. We have our push button toilet with storage behind, a little storage there, and window. Love this, this is awesome. Another towel bar here, which is great. You can't have enough spaces to hang those towels. And then you've got your breaker box. All right, so we're gonna head into the beautiful shower. First of all, you've got the shower lock again. That's on my checklist, something that you wanna make sure is locked when you're in travel mode. As I step up in here, we've got the molded shower. This is a nice big shower, 31 by 40. And I love that it has a skylight, but it has the cover. So that is a lot of light. You can take that light down, plus that lets in heat too from, from I mean, it's a hot day outside. Got the towel bar here, we've got the handheld, and then we can just put it and adjust that like we want it to. Also, this has the shower miser. So that's really cool. If you've never had it, you're going to love it. If you are not um, attached to city water, you're dry camping, you are just going to turn this so it's recirculated and the water's gonna recirculate. This will light up when the water is warm. So basically you're not needlessly um, running your water till it gets warm, filling up your gray tank and then wasting the water in your fresh water tank. Now, if you are connected to city water, this is going to recirculate to warm your water as long as you have it on and then what it will fill your fresh water tank. So if your fresh water tank is full, you're gonna have overflow and you're gonna be, you know, lining the parking lot with water. <laughs> so basically it, it, it is great and you're gonna love that feature. Just know that when you are using your shower miser, it does draw water pressure from the rest of the coach. So don't recommend trying to flush the toilet when you got the, your shower miser on because it, it does decrease your water pressure enough that it's not gonna work really well. So then you just, once your water, once this lights up, turn it to here so that you, the water will come out here. It's gonna be nice and warm. No more needlessly filling up your gray water tank while you warm up your shower water. Notice the smoke alarm here in the rear bath. And then also along our nice plush final ceiling, we have our thermistor. So we have a thermistor for each section of the coach. This is the thermistor for the bedroom and then we've got one in the kitchen area and the living room. 
and I like that they're on the ceiling. Typically, I don't see them on the ceiling, but that makes the most sense. That's where it's gonna get the warmest first. So that's the thermistor is what speaks to the thermostat to keep your coach nice and comfortable. Um, also in the living room and kitchen, it's, bought, or it's right by the intake, not where the air comes out, where it'd be the coldest, but actually where the air is going back in. So it just makes a lot of sense. Now, I also wanted to mention the great doors that you get here. So you have close these doors so you can have complete privacy in your bathroom. And then you've got another door here for privacy between your living room and bedroom. So I always like to show every floor plan, every coach that I do a video on with the slides retracted. So you can see how much of a walk space you can have. So here you could easily sleep in your bed um, without having to take the slides out. You can get to your control panel, get to the half bath, of course, from the other direction. You can get fully into your refrigerator. Now, let me show you the bathroom. <laughs> there you go. Be at your kitchen, sit in your booth. And then it gets a little tight here up front with the theater seating, but you can still easily walk through to the front. So finally to the cockpit area, this is almost to the fun part where we get to drive the coach. But before that, I want to talk a little bit about the seats. Villa seats, very, very comfortable. They are powered, so forward and back, up and down. Really nice. This is going to be the lever that allows you to turn the seat into the living room. And then this is your backrest here. But nice, soft, um, ultra leather, and very, very, very comfortable. We have our electronic leveling system by Lippert. So we're just gonna go ahead and we'll turn that on, and then we'll go auto level. It will um, automatically level the coach for us, um, front, right, rear, and left. So you'll have a solid color red light when you're level. Um, it will also let you know if it's unable to level with messages here in the readout right there. So for Tiffin specifically, I always like to ask the manufacturer what they recommend um, if they extend slides first or jacks first. So for Tiffin, jacks down, slides out. So you would do the same in reverse, slides in, jacks up. And again, always, if you're questioning it, because it differs from manufacturer to manufacturer, just check those owner manuals or give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We have our cup holder, air horn. I'm gonna make sure that's always on when I'm driving something this big. Our auto tra traction control. And then we have our defrost for our exterior mirrors and the adjustment for our exterior mirrors. USB charging port and USB-C as well our park brake and then right below that we have our engine preheat so we can turn that on right here at the dash our auxiliary start which is our battery boost so if you come back to your coach and your batteries are dead you want to push this button so that you can tie your house and your chassis batteries together um, let them and then you can start your generator let your generator run long enough that you can start your engine just above that, we've got our lights. So we've got our auto lights on here, off, marker lights, headlights, and fog lights. We have a pocket here to the side of the driver, which is really nice if you carry a map. I always like to have that as backup. And then we've got the Deutsch plug that's green here. That's where a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug in to communicate with your coach. And then we've got the pedal here to adjust our steering column so we can make that put it right where it's convenient for us and comfortable to drive and then here we have the pedal control so you just simply push down to just that pedal distance so that it's comfortable for the driver so the phaeton is on the freightliner custom chassis we get drive tech and this beautiful OptiView dash then we have our controls here on the side of the steering column so our turning controls which automatically changes the camera so we can see down the full length of the side of the coach when we have our slide rooms in we haven't done that yet and then we have our windshield wiper fluid our windshield wipers right there and then we can pull up to flash our brights push back to keep our brights on so super easy then we go to our steering column here 
right here is all the information that we're going to see up on the dash so if we go to that home button it's going to take us to this menu and we'll have gauges fuel economy road watch so i'm going to click into gauges and then you can just scroll down through those oil pressure coolant engine load gear that we are in and then go back fuel economy road watch so your cruise control you can click in and then you can adjust your following distance so I want it to be closer than that so I'm going to click here and lock that in go back tire pressure it's going to give you the tire pressure of all of your tires right there trip one information trip two information your vehicle settings so you can Bluetooth your devices uh, you can adjust the adjust the dash brightness increase or decrease and then just lock that in TPMS so you can set where you want your tire pressure set to and then units of measurement, so standard or metric, and then you can reset. So then we can go to diagnostics. You can get your faults here, internal diagnostic, transmission prognostics, you can see the system information, and your radar alignment. So super easy to have all that at your fingertips. So then you've got your plus and your minus for your volume control on your radio, your horn in the center here, and then we can answer a call, hang up a call, cruise control, mute. So if you've got the radio playing, you want to answer the phone real quick, you can mute. And then you've got your, um, like I said, cruise control, set, resume, and cancel. And then this is where you can flash your marker lights. So if you are driving at night and you pass a semi truck, um, he may flash his brights at you to let you know that it's safe to pull in back into your lane and you'll just wanna hit those to say thank you. Then on our paddle below that, you have our engine brake. I love this because it's so easy. So I can easily turn that on to low, medium, and high just by pulling it down. Then we've got our drive, neutral, and reverse. If you want to manually shift, uh, you can go into manual mode and then hit back to shift down and forward to shift up. Then to go back into automatic, just simply push and hold. Here's our radio with a CD player. And then we've got our great camera system here. So you can see your rear view camera and your two side cameras. Now again, our slides are out right now. I'll show you this while we're driving, but you can easily scroll through all the cameras with the mode button, or you can go to an individual camera, but I like that mode button. Here we have our 12 volt, and then step cover. So we can go ahead and cover the stairwell so that our furry friends or our passengers don't fall in there. Then we have our driver fans. So these are lifesavers on a really hot day. You can have the overhead fans blowing at you. Our solar shade is our sunshade up on the front windshield and our nightshade. We can start and stop the generator here. Map light for the driver. Docking lights, super important when you're going to a campground at night. And then our radio camera. So when we're in the campground, if we want to throw on our radio in the house and have our camera on, we can do that right there. Then we have our USB and USB-C charging port, HVAC controls for the cockpit area. We have a little spot there for our cell phone and a nice little drawer here. So co-captain seat is just as comfortable as the captain seat, but you have the bonus of the footrest. So yeah, I like this job. <laughs> Although it's really fun to drive too. So we've got that. Then over here to the right, we have our panel control so we can lock and unlock the door. We can turn on the lights, um, put out the step cover, uh, turn on the fans, the overhead fans, lighting, check the battery levels, generator, 
HVAC right here. How nice is that for the house? And then we've got our settings page. Cup holder, then right behind that we have a USB charging port and a wireless charger too for your cell phone. So just lay your cell phone down and let it charge. Then we've got a nice little storage spot here, just behind that, two 110 outlets. And then we have our nice little storage cabinet here that goes into the living room. Really easy to use, manual, beautiful driver's window. All right, well, it's go time. We finally get to drive the Tiffin. First time for me. So I'm excited that you're here to join me. Now, one of the things, if you've never driven a Class A diesel, you don't need to be worried. Uh, just take your time. Um, get a few little pointers before you go. So the biggest pointer is realize where your, uh, the, your turning point is. It's the center of your front axle. So that's actually behind me. So you've got to put your nose out a little bit further than you're comfortable. Um, and then you can watch your back tires and your bottom mirror there to make sure you've cleared. If you're not, then slow down, adjust. You have time to do it. So really, there's no um, no fear to driving these. There are lots of fun. You fit in the lane. I know you don't think you will, but before you know it, you'll be a pro, I promise. So let's go ahead and head out. I'm gonna turn my right blinker on. You can see down the full right side of the coach here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, extend my nose a little bit further than I'd like, and then just watch those back tires. Now, when you're driving a Class A, things that you've got to think about, um, tree branches, those kind of things can really mess you up. And then you'll be back at National Indoor RV Centers at our paint and body, which is great because we do the best work there. Um, we warranty our work for life, so your coach will be like new, but hopefully you don't have to worry about that. I always say hug the left side of the lane that you're traveling in. Um, don't always stay in the left lane because then drivers will get upset with you. But you wanna hug that left side of the lane because everything bad happens on the right. So um, road debris, street signs, you know, sometimes the cities just put those way too close to the road. Um, and if you're not careful, you'll hit them. And in these big rigs, they're so, um, sometimes you don't even feel it. You don't even realize that you did it. So you just wanna always be thinking about that. This drives nice and smooth. It's quiet, really, really quiet. I'm very impressed with how quiet it is. One of the things that I always notice, um, just because, you know, there's a lot happening in these coaches. When you've got a house going down the freeway, <laughs> there's a lot of things that have the ability that they could rattle if it wasn't built well. Um, but not feeling that at all here. Very nice and quiet, smooth, smooth ride. With Road Watch, I've got my adaptive cruise control, my collision mitigation. Um, it's gonna pick up objects in front of the coach and just give me a warning that they're there. So that's just really nice that I have that extra safety when I'm driving. I always say anything extra that you can add safety wise is gonna keep you on the road longer and enjoying your coach, enjoying the lifestyle, enjoying, enjoying the beautiful um, country that we have the opportunity to live in. So blessed. So if you watch my videos, you always know that I do the decibel reader. I want to see just how quiet it is. So I'm not lying. 58.9. That is super quiet. Love that. I even have the AC on low because it's a warm, warm day. And uh, boy, this is the way to travel. So that's what I always say. RV is a great way to see the country. Um, don't wait. Don't wait. Uh, we can finance these for 20 years. We do it all the time. I know people, customers say to me all the time, they wish they would have done this sooner because they absolutely love the lifestyle. You get to sleep in your own bed. You can make your own meals or you can go out to a new restaurant every night in a different town. Um, just gives you so much flexibility. Now, I mentioned this is a first Tiffin for National Indoor RV Centers that we can actually sell new. We've been selling used Tiffins forever, but this is the uh, first video that I've gotten to do on a new Tiffin. And if you are in the Tiffin family and you haven't heard about our AIM Club, it's our all-inclusive motorhome club. All-inclusive. So that means if you didn't buy from us, you can still be a member. You can join us at our rallies that are off the charts great. They're like a cruise in your coach. 
So you come to our rally, we cover your food, your beverages, your camping spot, and always nice resorts and great places around the country. We want to provide an experience for you, um, something that you may not have experienced on your own, give you just a unique experience. Um, and we just have a ton of fun. It's a way for us to get to know our customers and get to you know hear from the voice of the customers what you want, what you look forward um, to when you're out driving your RV and how we can make your experience and the RV lifestyle better. So once I get out on the road, I like to just hit the cruise control, uh, set my speed to what I wanna go to. I'm gonna put it at 50, but cruise control, I love it on the coach just because once I'm set in cruise control, I just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Thank you so much for joining me today on my first walkthrough of a Tiffin, the Phaeton 40IH. I can't tell you how excited we are to have the Tiffin product in the NIRVC family and get to um, sell coaches to our Tiffin friends and to the people that are looking for a motorhome for the first time or maybe coming out of something else. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this beautiful coach costs. So MSRP is $535,925. If you want to know how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give us a call. Or you can go to nirvc.com where you can look at all of our inventory. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RV simply costs less with National Indoor RV Centers. We can get you this gorgeous coach or we can do a custom order that's exactly what you want. It does not matter to us. We are happy to order you exactly what you want they're a lot of money and we just want you to be happy at national indoor rv centers we try to make it as easy as possible we have rv lifestyle specialists that are re ready and waiting to help you we do financing we take in trades we do consignments we do it all and you can finance these for 20 years 20 years so what are you waiting for make sure you give us a call we want to be there to help you now if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe also, go check out my RVing 101 series, AIM Club, our all-inclusive motorhome club, and Pro Tank fire suppression system. Thank you so much for watching today and have a wonderful day.